Welcome back to CS Tool and Walkthroughs. My name is Luke Hosh, and today we're going to be talking about the RAMs for TC201s in homework 6. Um, and there's a key statement here somewhere in the description of uh, read RAM, write RAM, and diff RAMs that says if the address or if a particular address of a RAM is the location, uh, blah, blah, blah. start again. If um, there's no specified contents of a RAM at an address, it's assumed to be zero. So I'll, I'll try to describe what that means for these different problems. Here I've written out an example of RAM. Remember, a RAM is just a list of lists of bits. So here it's a list of one, two, three, four lists of 16 bits. Uh, these dashes are, dashes are just, I didn't want to write out a whole bunch of zeros, but they represent zeros. Um, Right, so here I have four of them, and they're inside, right, so a list of lists. So I guess I should have a, a thing there. Um, and I can write these, have indexes, I can get the car of this list of lists, I can get, uh, I can do list ref, or I can get uh, the last one or whatever. Um, and remember that key statement, so if not specified, assumed zero. So what this means for a RAM write, say I pass in, I'm going to call this example RAM 1. If I do something like RAM write, I don't know the exact syntax because I didn't look carefully enough, but uh, if I try to RAM write, I think it probably takes like, for let's say this example RAM, this is not going to be the right order because I didn't look at it before I started this video. Um, and I'm going to have you write uh, address, say, 6. Uh, and I'm going to have you write, I don't know, the number 13. Maybe you have to pass in the specific list of bits. Um, right, 13 here might represent, yeah, 13 in, in binary. Um, if I try to do this, if I try to write to location 6, you should say, well, this is 0, this is 1, 2, 3. Well, there's no location six, so how do I write to location six? I, I did this kind of inconveniently, but if I want to write to location six, I have to make locations four, five, and six, assuming that they contain zeros. So it's going to be zero, 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 zero. And since this is location six, I'm going to write my 13 there in binary again. I'm not going to write out 13 in binary because I'm lazy. Um, but key idea here is if I'm RAM reading from, uh, sorry, RAM writing to a location that I already have, like if I didn't have four, five, and six before this began, if I was RAM writing to this location three, that would be easy. I just replace this part with three. I can recursively go through until I get to number three. And then instead of consing on my existing RAM line, I'll, I'll cons on the new line that they tell me, that they pass in. But if I'm writing to a location after what I already have, I have to create up to that location with zeros based on that tricky assumption. Similarly, if I'm trying to RAM read from location now, let's say eight, well, I have to, I mean, it's going to be zeros, right? Uh, well, I, I guess an easy way to do this would be to go through and if you get to empty list, if reach empty list of RAM, right? So if I'm doing this recursively, I'll probably start the beginning with a counter at zero and I'll just march my way through until I reach this number. But if I reach an empty list first, so here I'd reach an empty list before I get to number eight, then I can just return zero, right? Because I can read at an address greater than the length of my current RAM because it's assumed to be zero, based on that tricky assumption. Okay, and the final one we have to think a little bit hard about is diff RAMs. So say I have, go back to a simpler example, say I have this RAM over here, and I have another RAM that's just this. And I diff this, and I diff, so this is, I want ex1, this is 
ex2, and I run diff ram ex1, ex2. Well, they're different at positions one, two, and three, because this guy has these three things here, and this guy has, what does he have at positions one, two, and three? He has all zeros, right? Because it's not specified. So when I run this, I have to output, well, in, uh, I forget the exact format of the output, because again, I didn't look at this stuff before making this video, but you're gonna have to output, look, in my first part, in example one, this is what I have at location one. In example two, what I have at location one is all zeros, right? Because here's location one, location two, three, four, five, dot, 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 off to infinity are all filled with zero, 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 zero. All right, a little bit messy representation of this. Um, again, just really keeping in mind those, that tricky assumption that any address we haven't specified something for is assumed to be a list of 16 zeros, uh, which comes into play for RAM write, RAM read, and diff RAMs. Um, make sure you're handling that in all of these possible cases. Right? And diff RAMs especially tricky because you might have fewer in this than in this, or fewer in this one than in this one. You have to handle it separately for the first RAM and for the second RAM that you're passing to your function. Anyway, I'm sure you'll figure it out. If you're having trouble, come into office hours, email the CS201 help email or post on Piazza. Thanks for watching this walkthrough video and happy coding.